Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 11th of April. This week sees your ruling planet of Mercury highly influential, but Mercury is now tucked away in a more discreet part of your scope. And even though there's a very sociable vibe which is continuing in your situation, particularly with the Sun uh, in an ongoing embrace with the rather unpredictable energies of Uranus, there could be lots of invites, new possibilities, connections with dazzling personalities. But Mercury is just asking you to step back at times and to take a little bit of a breath and just work things out. And its connection with Jupiter is really going to help you to think about what's right for you at a more emotional level, a more nurturing level. So even if there is some bright buzzy possibilities and I think there's likely to be especially with Venus now getting more established in the sign of Aries then I think your popularity can be on the up people can want to spend time with you but there is a bit of a complication this week and one that's going to go on through to the end of this month Gemini and that's a clash between Mars which is in your sector of relating and has given you a bit more oomph when it comes to seeking out what you want, interacting with others, being more competitive, or even being a little bit more on the front foot when it comes to seeking out a romantic relationship. Well, Mars is in a right angle with Neptune. And if you're having any professional interactions this week, where you need to meet influential people, do a presentation, impress those in the know, you do really need to be conscious of what this aspect can mean. It's possible that you could encounter someone in your public or business world who's actually not as straightforward as they may appear to be. But on the other hand, don't be tempted to take any shortcuts yourself. Play things very straight, because when Mars and Neptune combine, it can lead to deception. And in your case, it's possible that people can just misunderstand where you're coming from. So the value of Mercury, your ruler, being in this quieter, more reflective area can just make you a little bit more cautious. Yes, there may be times when you actually feel that there is a lot going on, but you're not actually sure you want to join in. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It can protect you from diving into a situation and giving a, a big impression on something where you're not quite sure of what the facts are. So wait until the end of this week before you really do make your moves, because then Mars is going to go into a retrograde itself. And that's just asking you to be much more considered and much less, less impulsive when it comes to how you connect with others. But there's also a quarter moon on Thursday of this week, and that quarter moon is a clash between your second and eleventh houses. It's possible that the idealistic side of your nature wants to feel that something can work out just as you want, and it could, but with that distorted influence between Mars and Neptune, I think when it comes to anything to do with money or friends, you need to be a little bit more realistic. It's possible that someone just won't come up to your values this week and could seriously disappoint you, but what you don't want is to get very burnt when it comes to any kind of investment or use of your resources. So in that sense, proceed with a great deal of caution, have some fun, connect with the people who really excite you, but just stay in observation mode. Don't get too engaged. Just stay a little bit more detached. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.